right, today, uh, today's mission is uh, patrol the coastal waters off of Wen Chang. And uh, we're taking into custody U.S. Special Forces found inside uh, territorial waters and kill any U.S. submarine that is indeed detected within Chinese territorial waters. And uh, there's the boat we're taking out. It is the uh, Lin, if I say this right, Lin San Lu, an improved kilo class, the People's Liberation Army Navy, known as the Plan, Plan, P L A N. And uh, since I'm already at periscope depth, uh, first thing to do is just take a look topside here, see what's out there. And of course, ESM uh, detects uh, radars, friendly as well as enemy, radio emissions. And uh, it lights up the board there pretty strong, but the, that's a friendly, it's a Chinese land-based radar, so uh, you don't need to send a mark. And as always, once at PD, go ahead and uh, besides doing a visual scan of the surface, I always like to check the uh, broadcast, see if there's any message traffic. And there isn't right now. And here's our scope, so let's go ahead and raise her. It is 0200 in the morning. Pretty dark morning, um, and I forgot all about the uh, kilos, and they don't have uh, night vision capability. But I'll take a 360 sweep anyway, see what I can see. Can't see much, and I'm uh, going to go ahead and assume that the uh, surface traffic is clear. Which will make uh, any sonar analysis uh, a little bit easier. Right, we do have a sonar contact off the uh, to the west there. All right, I mean, remained at PD since we're in such shallow water here. There is no layer. Got about 20 meters beneath my kill. I'm at 16 meters right now. And here's a message that just came in from headquarters to the Lin San Lu. They have an acoustic intercept by their surveillance center possible US submarine at that position so we're gonna to go to the tactical uh, plot here plot it take another look at the uh, position 1945 north let's head up there a little bit more come on four more degrees up and 1945 north and then move out east to 111.13 I'm just going to remember those two coordinates. There we go. 1945, 1113 East. And we just hit the enter button to uh, drop a fix. I have no contact bearing. And a short while later, we gained, no uh, look at that, a uh, subsurface five. contact on that uh, bearing that cuts right through that position. So that would tell me that the target uh, is off my northeast, heading toward me in a southwesterly uh, heading. And he's both on the uh, cylindrical as well as the conformal array on board the uh, Kilo, which means confidence is uh, high. Also means TMA will start speeding up a little bit quicker, uh, I would imagine, with it being on two sensors. Never been on the uh, Chinese Kilo, so no idea about that. That's just pure uh, speculation on my part. So the crew have now... Uh, Taking this to, they believe it to be subsurface for sure, and a sea wolf. I don't know, it's pretty far away for a sea wolf, about Come five right miles. Zero. Uh, right there, Help close I. to 88, 8,800 meters, 8.8 .8 kilometers. So, uh, was that four or five miles away? Time to go ahead and classify it though, and uh, they say it's a sea wolf. All right, who knows? We'll let them. As long as I'm holding it, that's all that matters. Come left to course. Three. Okay, decided Four. since it's heading uh, southwesterly, a little bit faster than I am, that I should come northwest. Uh, try to get close to it and stay in front of it. So now I decided to go ahead and uh, engage it, even though I don't have the best TMA. I did do a drastic course change uh, to the north. So I'm setting up tubes five and six for launch. They're flooded with the uh, torpedo doors open. I'm assigning them now to uh, my torpedo panel. Assigning them to tubes five and six. 
Um, yeah, he's just off of my starboard bow there. I can see him on the cylindrical array. Again, TMA was pretty weak, so I decided to go ahead and try to uh, improve my uh, target solution by going active. And I'm hearing returns, but not seeing anything, so that's problematic. I know he's somewhere just off of 000, bearing 0007, 4200 meters. So he can definitely hear me. Um, I'm just getting what appears to be bottom bounce here. All right, so that's three transmissions. I'm half expecting any minute now to have a, a Mark 48 coming my way. Okay, so far our sonar hasn't detected anything. Yeah, what's that? Fourth time's a charm. Man, there's just nothing up there. So I'm just blindly marking here. So enough of that. Lucky I didn't uh, have a Mark 48 uh, down my throat. So my first uh, fish here I'm going to launch, the Test 71, wire guided uh, anti-submarine warfare torpedo. There she is running through the water. Come left to course three. And uh, as always, I like to uh, come off my base course after firing a weapon. I think that's just a good practice to get into. All right, and here is the weapon closing, I hope, on the uh, threat sub. All right, there it is. It's good. Three gone. Sonar. Lost the wire. Two fives. So, turned out it was a uh, LA. That's not just that. 68. Uh, look how uh, shallow, uh, shallow, how deep she was. She was already near the surface bottom. Not much for her to sink. In such shallow water, we were very limited, and I was right, it was just going to come down to whoever shot who first. There's really no way to evade uh, when we're in these coastal waters. There's just no, uh, no depth to move up or down. And all we had to do now was hang out and uh, wait for the special ops team to be captured. And there's the uh, message confirming that they have been picked up. Feel sorry for those guys. Mission status right here, so here's what we did. And uh, USS Alexandria is the sub we destroyed. And we'll just pan out here looking at our sub, uh, improved Chinese Kilo diesel submarine. 